Hey guys, it's Poe with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to take a look at another video card. This one is the 1060 super clocked 3 gigabyte version from EVGA. I know that they probably shouldn't even be calling this card a 1060, but we won't get into that today. Today we will be looking at performance in two aspect ratios, 16 by 9 and 21 by 9 at resolutions of 1920 by 1080 and 2560 by 1080. I know that the more common ultra-wide resolution is 3440 by 1440. This is also more expensive and requires a whole lot more GPU horsepower. We're going to get into whether or not you need a very powerful graphics card to run ultra-wide, something like a 1080, or if you would be okay with this 1060. It is common for everyone to think when you go to ultra wide that you're going to need more horsepower and that is true to a certain extent. Uh, we will compare our 1060 super clocked with our 1080 for the win card. In the EVGA's lineup of 1060's they have two single fan solutions. The first is the ACX 2.0. The second one is the card that we're looking at here today which is the super clocked. This also sports what they call an ACX 2.0 cooler but in fact the two coolers could not be more different. As you'll see in the photo that we have on the right hand side this is the cooler that is in the ACX 2.0. Now here is the cooler that we've already seen that comes in the super clocked card. The difference in price between these two cards is only $10. If you're looking to buy a 1060 and you want one from EVGA do not Try to save $10 and go with the ACX 2.0 only. Go for this super clocked version. It's more than worth the extra $10. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the data that I've compiled during my benchmarks. Uh, we're going to see if it is in fact true that you need something like a $700 1080 or if you could get by with this sub 200 card. first thing that I want to discuss is the fact that we actually had to lower the settings a little bit 
on a few of the titles that we benchmark. This is due to the fact that we have the 3 gigabyte version of the 1060 rather than the 6 gigabyte version. Uh, it's obvious that we can run ultra wide on the 1060 as long as it's 2560 by 1080. I imagine that 3440 by 1440 would be out of the question. Uh, at Hitman, you can actually see that the 1060 looks as though it performed better than the 1080, but again, it goes back to the fact that we had to lower settings. The 1060 actually wouldn't even run the benchmark at the same settings that the 1080 was. In my opinion, if you're going to get the 1060, I would definitely opt for the 6 gig version. In this instance, it's about 50 more dollars. In regard to temperatures, you can see that we stayed right around the 60C mark, although once we overclocked the card, if we ran it at the silent preset, it did peak out at 83C. Now if we go back to the beginning of the video and the ACX 2.0 version, if you had that card overclocked on the silent preset, it would definitely throttle. Moving on from temperatures, the last thing that I want to talk about with this card is fan noise. I've recorded clips at 0% fan noise, 25, 50, 75, and 100. I want you guys to hear what it sounds like at those levels to decide if it's acceptable to you or not. Alright guys, that's going to wrap things up for this video. Those of you who follow me on social media will know that I'm actually giving this card away. Uh, details for this will be in the description. Make sure you get subscribed uh, for future giveaways. Uh, my links to social media will be in the description. That is Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.